Hello everyone, Bob here, and welcome to Collection Wednesday. Today I'm going to take a look at the franchise that I am going to feature predominantly during the month of October. Um, I am, of course, talking about my favorite horror franchise, Halloween. And uh, in this Collection Wednesday, I'm going to focus on the two uh, Scream Factory box sets, uh, neither of which have the 2018 film. Um, these were released in uh, 2013, I believe. Uh, yes, these were released in 2013. There is a 10-disc version and a 15-disc version. Both are going for stupid amounts of money on eBay. The 10-disc version um, is going for $300, and the 15-disc version is going for almost $600. So, like I say, they're going for stupid amounts of money, so... Um, I want to show you what's in these box sets. We're going to start with the 10 disc set. Of course, we got Michael on the cover there. Um, it's meant to look all dog-eared and ragged like this. Uh, we've got two cases in there that house the uh, 10 discs. Here's the back. It talks about the franchise and it's talks about the, uh, it lists the movies, which of course is up until the second Rob Zombie film. Then the uh, special features that are in this set, as well as the ratings and all that good stuff. Here's the bottom. We'll flip it over. Here's the bottom. Yes, it had a little bit of damage, but again, I didn't pay much for this set. Uh, here's the top. And here again is the sides. Here's the first case. Let me flip it over. List all the special features that are on, on the each of the five discs, which is one disc per movie. Pop it open. Uh, original, Halloween two, Halloween three, four, five, this is the back of the slip art behind uh, disc five. Here's the second case. As of course, all the way from Curse of Michael Myers all the way up to the, uh, at the time, the latest one, the second Rob Zombie one. There's the back, and again, special features. Of note, uh, this, just this particular set only contains the uh, theatrical cut of Halloween 6. H2O, Resurrection, the two Rob Zombie films. And these, of course, are both the um, unrated director's cuts. The theatrical cuts are not in either of these box sets. I believe it was a rights issue as to why they're not included there. And if you pop this disc out, it's the scene behind the art, or behind uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, or disc 10, is the um, scene from Halloween Resurrection where Michael kills Lori. This is the uh, paper sleeve that has, the, of course, the glue backing on it so that it sticks to the 15-disc uh, box set. Here is the uh, slipcase for the 15 disc set. Here is um, one of the side panels, uh, one of the spines. This is the other side panel. There is the open end that has the all the um, snap cases in it at uh, the top. And of course the uh, bottom which I have upside down. The case for the first Halloween film. Halloween. The spine. There's the back. And of note, this includes the both the original uh, Anchor Bay Blu-ray release as well as the 35th anniversary edition rela release. Now, the 35th anniversary edition release uh, has the updated uh, and corrected uh, color timing as supervised by uh, uh, cinematographer Dean Cundy. How 
Halloween 2. Uh, there's the front. I do like all of the uh, the black cases with this. And uh, I like how we have the original theatrical poster art on the front of all of them. So let's do the special features on this one. And this, this is identical to the... Uh, to the, if you have the original Scream Factory release, you have Halloween 2 on um, disc 1 on the Blu-ray, and on the DVD you have the television version of Halloween 2, which has all the uh, TV scenes that were added in when the film was edited for content. So this version, this disc, or uh, Halloween 2 is just like the, the standalone Halloween 2 release from uh, Shout Factory, or Scream Factory, I mean. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. The spine. There's the back. Has all the silver shamrock masks on it. There's the special features. Again, this uh, is pretty much like the uh, standalone Halloween 3 uh, release from Scream Factory. which I own those releases as well, but that's not what we're here to see. Um, Halloween 4. There's the back. Five. Dr. Loomis on the back. Uh, Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. The front, this is the back, with all the special features. And at the time this box set came out, this was the only way to own a legitimate copy of the producer's cut for Halloween 6. So we have the theatrical cut here and the producer's cut here. H2O. There's the back. There's the disc. It's Halloween Resurrection. The first Rob Zombie film. There's the back. Or there's the front of me. There's the back. And there is got the bonus disc in it. And again, this is just the uh, director's cut, the unrated version. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, second Rob Zombie film. There's the front. There's the back. And then here is uh, the film on the unrated Blu-ray. And then this disc here is the bonus disc for the complete collection. This disc is exclusive to the set. This disc uh, has uh, the uh, extended TV cut that Anchor Bay released. And it features the, the scenes on it, but when it's on TV, like when it's on network TV, or they were filmed in 1981 at the same time they filmed Halloween 2 for the uh, original NBC network broadcast. But um, when I saw the film for the first time on USA, I saw it with these uh, TV scenes added in. That's on there. The four, It's uh, HD quality except for the extended scenes that are added in. Those are only in standard def. 
Plus these have several, uh, there are several cool documentaries on this disc. The 15 disc box set also came with this exclusive booklet. Uh, you got a essay in there uh, that is written by Michael uh, Gingold and it's called entitled Halloween the Nights plural because of all the films he came home which of course uh, the night he came home is the tagline for the original Halloween about that. But anyway, the essay is an interesting read. Then it, um, this lists all everything that is on the bonus disc, uh, that exclusive bonus disc I showed you about. Uh, one of my favorite ones is the Horrors Hallowed Grounds, which the, where they go back to the filming locations of Halloween's four, five, and six, and of course the original Halloween's on there. Uh, but that one was originally on the Halloween Twenty Five Years of Terror DVD. And of course, there's a dedication to Mustafa Akkad, uh, Donald Pleasance, and Deborah Hill. And then there's the back of the booklet. I guess one thing that needs to be said is that the 10 uh, discs that are in that first box set I showed you are also in the 15 disc box set. The difference is the 15 disc box set has. Uh, two different versions of how, of the original Halloween. So you pick up an extra disc there. You have the DVD that features the television cut of Halloween 2. So there's extra disc number two. Uh, you have the producer's cut of Halloween 6, which uh, at the time was a huge selling point because like I say, that was the first time it was released uh, to the public. Of course, it's been released on its own since then, but at the time, uh, so that's uh, three extra discs. Uh, Extra disc number four is the bonus disc to Rob Zombie's Halloween, the first film. And it has, of course, that big long mammoth making of documentary on it. Uh, it's identical to the to the Blu-ray that was uh, released by uh, Miramax on its own. And, uh, of course, the fifth disc is the uh, disc that is the exclusive bonus disc that has documentaries and such from all the films. And the, uh, of course, the extended edition of how the original Halloween. Now, I really like watching some of those documentaries. I uh, enjoy watching those about as much as I do watching the movies. Uh, like I say, I love the Halloween franchise. And I'm going to go through the franchise here during the month of October and focus on it. Um, I am kind of bummed I don't have a new one to talk about because we were supposed to have uh, Halloween Kills come out this next month, but it got pushed back to 2021 because of uh, COVID-19, which, I mean, from the business standpoint, I understand completely why uh, why they did it. Doesn't mean I'm not disappointed because I was really looking forward to it, but I guess that gives me something to look forward to for next year. But uh, that's basically the difference between the, these box sets is there are, there's the plethora of extras. Um, the Halloween 6 the, uh, producer's cut, like I say, is in this one. And I actually found the 15-disc set in store. I didn't have to order it. I found it um, on street date. 
I found it in a local um, video store, which ironically isn't there anymore. And I picked that thing up and uh, I paid like 150 bucks for it, which in retrospect, seeing how much they go for on eBay now, uh, that was a pretty good investment on my part. Not that I ever intend to part with it. I All my Halloween memorabilia and stuff like that, I don't, that's, that's mine. I collect it because I like it, not because I'm looking to flip it in a few years uh, for money. I collect it because that's the stuff I like. Um, I picked up the other box set, uh, the 10 disc box set. I picked up uh, Walmart, a local Walmart had them. And they, at the time, were going for uh, like $29.99 or something like that. And uh, by this point, the uh, these were also a lot higher on it, going for a lot more than that on eBay. And those other that other 15-disc box set had really started going like crazy. So at the time, I thought, well, I'll pick up this box set so um, that one doesn't take as much wear and tear as I slide it um on and off of my shelf. And besides, this is one of those films that I collect the different really or franchises that I collect the different releases of. As you will see, I have I own many different versions of the original Halloween on uh different releases over a variety of formats. So uh it's it was only natural that I would own both of these Screen Factory box sets. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at the uh, two Scream Factory box sets. Uh, like I say, it does not include the 2018 film Halloween, but uh, that came out five years after this box set. The odds of them releasing another box set that features all of the Halloween films is probably pretty slim because of the rights issues, because different companies own the different rights to this film, it's, it would be a headache, but I am incredibly happy we have gotten uh, at least these two box sets. Um, if you enjoyed the content of this video, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to have new content daily. It doesn't always work that way, but that is my goal. Uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I try to keep that updated pretty regularly. Uh, just search for Bob the Film Guy and you should be able to find me. And for now, be safe, everyone. Um, this is Bob signing off.